Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial on using Caddy to import survey data so that X, Y and Z coordinates may be procured from uh, some sort of uh, measuring device, maybe from a supplier of data that you might have, and how we can get that into Caddy very quickly, very easily, with minimum fuss, minimum effort, and then take it and create from it our terrain model. So uh, a DTM TIN model, that's a triangular irregular network, uh, including the points if we have them, uh, how we can get that into our drawing, how we can section it, and how we can export the data as well, such that we can take it into uh, maybe another device. So let's have a look and see how we're going to start. So let's have a look and see how we can start. In front of us we see a split view, so we've got our model space viewports here. So at the top we have the section which is automatically generated, complete with the text there we can see. And then we have at the bottom the tin model from which this has been created. So where did we start with this? Well, let's just start a new drawing. Okay. So here we have uh, a brand new drawing. Now, if we're going to be working in millimetres, Caddy by default will set out the units as millimetres, but we can change this, of course. So just using the model space workspace settings, we'll change to metres. And what we can do here is now look to import that data. So where do we have our data? Well, we have our data in the form of a CSV file. So here we are, this is a CSV file. Uh, in terms of importing it into Caddy, we can take this data, but we will take it in from a, just a, a simple text data file and create one of those from Excel here. We'll just export it. So we'll change the file type. Just overwrite that file there. So no problem doing that in this particular instance. So it's just a tab delimiter for the, the text. So taking, so taking the format of that and putting tabs between the separate data fields. So I'll just replace that. Okay. So back within Caddy, we're in the survey application. And when we import our data, so here we choose our file, and we chose the tab delimiter there. Other options for separating the data are available. So we've got the, the tab there, we'll choose the order and just simple as that, picking the uh, the order of them, choose the, the data that you want in. OK to that. And there are our points. So I'll just do a zoom extents on that. I, I said I wanted to bring the text in as well. So if we just choose a, a piece of the text and then Shift A will select all of the text, and we could just change the size of it, make it a little little smaller, for instance. So there we are. We can now see our text. And in fact, if we do a 3D orbit, so just choosing the 3D orbit here, and then having a look. So now having got our, our points in space, what we need to do is we need to convert those to a terrain model, so a tin model. So here, if I wanted to create another layer, then I can do this very easily from the set layer command there. So we'll say DTM tin, for instance, and we could even choose something that's going to give us a, a green on the screen, maybe for our, our points. So there we are. Okay, so we've got our uh, pen set up by layer. So we'll just choose our layer into the DTM tools, pick the triangulate and simply drag over, so selecting all the points and that will create the, the triangular irregular network for us. Choosing our render mode we can see that we can change that to view it as we wish. So there we are, so there is our tin model, very quick, very easy to produce. And then if we go to back to a, a plan view, we can start to use the tools 
for the likes of creating sections, for instance. So we can create a 2D section through the tin model. It doesn't need to be a straight line. We can have any number of cranks in there. So we just get to the end, right click and do an option end and it asks us where we would like to put the section and the parameters for it. So we'll make the text just a smidgen bigger there. So one, uh, one unit high and we have our reference level because it says the minimum section height is 102, maximum is 107. So that will be a nice reference underneath and we're also drawing the section line on the plan. So there is our section. Okay, you can see our text. And in fact, if we pick our text, we might make that black so we can see it a little bit uh, more easily. We, in fact, we could even change change our section there to a, a black pen, and then maybe add a little bit of colour. So we're using the quick hatch tools. Uh, here, which you'll find under the uh, the toolbar there. So we've got our, the ability to create the fill colour that we want, so just choosing the type of hatch that we want, choosing the fill, OK to that. Then we'll just do a closed object and drag it on top of there, and there's our fill. So that gives us our 2D section, we have our 3D terrain model, and if we want the different viewports, then we simply say, OK, we'll have two separate viewports, and we can just zoom these individually. And we can move the distinction between the two of them down. So there's the, uh, the section, click into this window, and then maybe use one of the 3D views. There we are. We can swivel it around, so that, and then just press escape or enter to fix that. And then we can zoom in on it, that's using the control key and the left click on the mouse, or you can just use the scroll wheel on the mouse as well. And we have the options of turning with the scope flags up here, so we can turn the text off, we can turn the points off, just to, to clean it up, we can even, if we want to, just turn it into uh, a fong shaded model to give it a little bit more lighting and shading. So it's as simple as that, creating your 3D tin models. And with Caddy we can export our point data too. So we can take the X, Y and Z coordinates from our drawing and put it into a file which we could then import into some other device or application. So let's see how we can do that. So we'll just drop our points back in. And in fact we can turn off the 3D tin because we don't need that now. So there we are and just to make it a little easier to see what we're going to do we'll take our viewport back to maximize our, our total viewport uh, there we are, uh, our total model space view, so we can see our points. We're in the survey application again, but the tool we're going to use that doesn't appear in the multidiscipline shortened menu. So here we'll go to the full tool, so under apps and survey, and we'll see it under data here. And under data we see we have export survey points, so we can choose that. So we can do whichever part of our drawing we want, so we could choose just a rectangle for instance. And again we can choose the separator and what our current units and export units are going to be and the order for the columns, so our X, Y and Z data. OK to that. And since I indicated that I wanted to choose a, a rectangle, we can drag our rectangle across there and you'll see it's exported that data, the 1,354 points, to a data file. And then seeing our data file, we can simply open up that data file and we see we have a text file there that we can take into our other device or we could take it into Excel and create it in uh, whatever format uh, as an output from there that we wished. So a very quick, very easy way to import data into Caddy and to export it as well.
Discover many more Caddy tutorial videos on the Caddy Software channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for frequent news and updates. And why not download your own evaluation copy and try out Caddy for yourself? And whilst you're evaluating, you can get free help and advice via the live support on the website or through the numbers given on screen.